This video features the installation of our heavy duty spring centered street kit with a resurfaced OEM flywheel. For a complete list of kits with their full details and specifications, please visit our website. While we try to get all aspects of the removal and installation of our clutch and flywheel on video, there may be some items we might have missed. This video is made to provide the basics on how to replace a clutch and flywheel and is in no way intended to replace a factory service manual. The vehicle we used for testing was modified with aftermarket components and a modified exhaust. Removal and installation of your transmission and other components may differ slightly slightly. Disconnect the negative cable from the battery terminal and move it away from the terminal so it does not make accidental contact. If equipped, unfasten and remove the transfer case and transmission skid plates. For better access to the exhaust pipe stopper bracket hardware on the frame rail, remove the hardware for the driver's side heat shield located above the catalytic converter. Unbolt and remove the exhaust pipe stopper bracket. Disconnect the oxygen sensor plugs located on both driver and passenger side of the transmission. Remove the wire harness from the transmission bracket. Unbolt the exhaust flange located on the passenger side after the catalytic converter and then remove the hardware for the manifold stay. Unbolt the exhaust flange located on the driver's side after the catalytic converter and then remove the hardware for the manifold stay. Support the exhaust up in position and detach all the rubber isolators from the exhaust. With all the isolators detached, you can now remove the exhaust from under the vehicle. Mark the U-joint flange yokes on both front and rear drive shafts so that they can be installed in the same position. Unfasten and remove the hardware for the forward U-joint flange yoke of the rear drive shaft. Unfasten and remove the hardware for the rearward U-joint flange yoke of the rear drive shaft. With someone helping hold the rear drive shaft up in position, unfasten the center support bearing. Then free the U-joint flange yokes and remove the drive shaft from under the vehicle. Unfasten and remove the hardware for the forward U-joint flange yoke of the front drive shaft. Unfasten and remove the hardware for the rearward U-joint flange yoke of the front drive shaft. Then free the U-joint flange yokes and remove the front drive shaft from under the vehicle. On the passenger side, remove the hardware attaching the manifold stay to the transmission and then remove the manifold stay.
On the driver's side, remove the hardware attaching the manifold stay to the transmission and then remove the manifold stay. Unbolt and remove the slave cylinder heat shield. Unfasten the slave cylinder and accumulator, then remove the slave cylinder from the transmission. Inside the vehicle, remove the shift knob. Remove the console upper panel subassembly. Remove two screws, two clips, and the shift lever boot assembly. Unbolt and remove the shift lever assembly. Place a stand under the transmission and transfer case assembly. Unbolt and remove the cross member. Make sure the slave cylinder is completely removed from the transmission. Place a jack under the transmission and transfer case assembly. Unbolt and remove all the bell housing bolts. With all the bell housing bolts removed and making sure everything has been disconnected, disengage the transmission and transfer case assembly and remove them from under the vehicle. Unbolt and remove the old pressure plate and disc. Unbolt and remove the old flywheel. Remove the clutch release fork and release bearing assembly from the transmission. Then remove the bearing from the fork. Make sure the plastic retainer to secure the clutch release fork is in position and then place a small amount of lube onto the pivot ball. Place a small amount of lube on the guide tube and input shaft. Clean any grease, dirt, or grime from the release fork. Place a small amount of lube into the release fork pockets and where the release bearing makes contact. Install the bearing into the release lever and then install the release fork and bearing assembly onto the transmission, making sure the release fork is secured with the retainer. Check the release fork and bearing assembly for proper operation. Place a small amount of lube into the disc lines. Then install the disc onto the input shaft and work the lube into the splines. Remove the disc and wipe off any excess lube from the input shaft and the disc to prevent contamination of your clutch disc. Clean the pressure plate friction surface with a non-petroleum-based cleaner. 
making sure the flywheel mounting surface is clean and free of rust or burrs, place the resurfaced or new flywheel up into position and tighten the bolts until they are snug. Using a flywheel locking tool or ring gear wrench to prevent the flywheel from rotating, torque the flywheel in two steps. First, torque the bolts to 20 foot-pounds in a star pattern, and then torque the bolts an additional 90 degrees, also in a star pattern. Place the disc in position on the flywheel and hold it in position using the alignment tool. Place the pressure plate in position over the disc, making sure the dowel pins and bolt holes line up and then install and tighten the pressure plate bolts in a star pattern until they're snug. Remove the alignment tool and then torque the pressure plate bolts in a star pattern to 26 foot-pounds. Lift the transmission and transfer case assembly back into place, making sure no brackets or wiring get pinched in between the transmission and engine. Install and lightly tighten a few bolts to hold it in place. Place a stand under the transmission and transfer case assembly. Install the slave cylinder and accumulator, making sure the plunger of the slave cylinder seats properly in the release fork pocket. Install and tighten the bolts to 9 foot-pounds. Install the remaining bell housing bolts and torque them all to the specified values shown in the graphic. Install the wiring harness back onto the transmission and transfer case assembly. Place the cross member in position. Install and tighten the hardware at the sides to 30 foot pounds. Install and tighten the hardware at the center to 15 foot-pounds. Install both passenger and driver's side manifold stays and tighten all the bolts to 30 foot-pounds. With someone helping hold the rear drive shaft up, install the center support bearing in position, then making sure to align the marks made during disassembly, fit the forward U-joint flange yoke in place, and then fit the rearward U-joint flange yoke in place. Install and tighten the hardware at the rearward U-joint flange yoke and tighten them to 65 foot-pounds. Install the hardware at the forward U-joint flange yoke and tighten them to 65 foot-pounds. Tighten the hardware for the center support bearing to 27 foot-pounds. Making sure to align the marks made during disassembly, place the front drive shaft in place. Install the hardware at the rear and at the front. Tighten the hardware at the rear and front to 65 foot-pounds. Install the shift lever assembly and shift lever boot. Install the console upper panel subassembly and then the shift knob. Place the exhaust up in position. Install the hardware for the exhaust flanges located on both the passenger and driver's side after the catalytic converter. Install the rubber isolators onto the exhaust. Tighten the hardware for the exhaust flanges located on both the passenger and driver's side after the catalytic converters. 
Connect the oxygen sensor plugs located on both passenger and driver's side of the transmission. Once again, loosen the driver's side heat shield located above the catalytic converter. Install the exhaust pipe stopper bracket and tighten the hardware. Reinstall the heat shield and tighten the hardware. Not shown in the video, reinstall the skid plates. Reconnect the negative battery cable and tighten the hardware. For more information on our products or the parts featured in this video, please visit our website in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.